Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to continue with the Creo 10 configuration and do you will understand how to work with the start files or templates. I will start from scratch, so what does it mean if you will start Creo? In the last video tutorial we have learned how it's possible to set up working directory, so we have spoken about file open default folder as the working directory and also in the previous tutorial we have spoken about the mass properties calculation if you if you are interested please check the previous tutorials but today we would like to work with start parts or templates what does it mean if you will start create new 3d model as you can see my creo 10 configuration is really new nothing configured only the, the working directory so what does it mean if I will start to create new 3D model and I will push the button only, the system will create new 3D model for me. But question is what I will see over here is that my co options in the, if I will select file, prepare and model properties, I will see that my unit for this model are in, are in inch. So what does it mean if I will select the change unit manager, I can see that over here are the inch. Maybe you are coming from the Europe and maybe you prefer to work with millimeter, kilogram, sec or something different. Yeah? So you can create your custom units or you can choose from preferred. But I don't want to do it always. I like to have some predefined values. So what does it mean? We will create a template for now for the 3D model. Also, you can change for the sheet metal part or the assembly. So again, back how to prepare your model so for example my wish is that if i will start to create new 3d model it will be always as the millimeter unit so we can change it i will erase memory and we will start from scratch as the new and i know that my template will be named as the solid yeah it will be named for my new template and now we are working on the new template so i will use default template doesn't mean I don't want to use it then we if we will come from OK now the system allowed to me to choose from the templates and also the configuration option is able to change and then the system will show you different folder for loading the templates but now for the quick selection I will select the default so for example we will we would like to have the solid part as the millimeter and absolute so what does it mean? We will confirm OK and now we are able to double check what is inside. So if I will select File, Prepare and Model Properties, we can see that my ups accuracy are absolute as the 0 0.01. Maybe we would like to change it because the it's really, really small value. So I'd like to use only absolute value 0 0.02 it's a minimum what the system can calculate if you would like to know more again please check the 4ksi.com and over there is the really good article for the what does it mean absolute and relative accuracy yeah whole description so please check it over there but for now for quick explanation absolute 0 0.02 for this example as the template is really good and i will regenerate the model so now we are using the accuracy absolute for this template i don't want to use the default material from the ptc i'd like to choose something different over here in the drop down menu you can see here what is the alloet and for example we would like to use the legacy materials so again this is the default configuration system low default materials if we would like to change it we are able to change it by uh, configuration options we can speak about it later but for now i will choose for example that future models will be defined from bronze brass cooper or for example the pvc or the steel yeah i will select everything from what was over here and now on the bottom you can see that i have a couple of materials maybe you can try to delete this default yeah Maybe it's possible, maybe not. I'll try. Okay, it's not possible to delete. No problem. But I'd like to select the steel as the material which is as master. So what does it mean? I will select set as material. If we will come from OK, now we have applied all necessary information. And as you can see, the density is specified and also structure thermal, the values and materials, information and limits are there. If not, 
select double click change it and store it to your hard drive okay so i will confirm the this default view and now we have apply all changes we can validate if everything works fine so what does it mean i will create a new 3d model really really only default shape with the value 100 millimeters per 100 millimeters so what does it mean approximately only 100 and if i will again specify 100 millimeters so we have a cube and size is 100 millimeters so what does it mean the weight will be approximately 7.8 kilograms we are able to double check it by file prepare and model properties and over here there, over here is the mass properties calculation so we can have a look here and the mass has been calculated 7.82 okay that's fine and our wish is that for our template will be not only the calculation but also will be some parameter inside so in the tools relations we would like to try to put some more relations so for example i will put the relation the total weight is equal mp mass so what does it mean the system will be create the parameter total weight and also will be calculated from the mass what was calculated before if i will validate the relation the system will show me that everything is verified a new parameter is created yeah you can see here total weight as the real number 7.82 is created and if you would like to use this parameter also for wind chill or plm you need to designate so what does it mean designate means that system will populate this information also to plm systems if you would like to delete some parameters you can try if it is not locked so it's a full this one it's a default from ptc i would like to delete and maybe we will create the additional parameter it's a drawing number yeah for example so what does it mean you are able to create a new parameter and you can specify it. it will be integer real number string or yes or no for drawing number makes sense to create a string it will be empty value and also i would like to see in the future in the plm so i will mark it as the designated parameter the working with the parameter and relation it's a really similar for the sheet metal parts and assembly mode so you are able to apply this same one difference is that if you are working with the solid models and sheet metal parts and you have specified your different materials now you are able to see over here that default value was the steel in future maybe you would like to use the different ones so from drop down menu the system allow to you to choose what has been predefined in the previous window yes yeah, so for now we have a bronze brass cooper pvc and steel if you would like to have more no problem you are able to jump to prepare and model properties you will apply more materials yeah for example we will apply there the, this one yeah it will be absolutely at the end and if i will confirm ok close and if i will check the parameters now you can see here that parameter has been added yeah if you would like to see it also as the designated parameter it's not problem you can mark it so over here now you know that you are able to work with the relations parameters and uh, calculate automatically weight for example everything works fine so what does it mean if you will change the shape we can quickly change the shape for example doesn't matter this one yeah any value we will regenerate the model and we can double check if the parameter has been changed and as you know we are using the configuration option the mass property will be calculated automatically so the system calculate everything automatically and now it's 4.24 approximately yeah fine but for our template we don't need to see the any default features so we can delete this really extrude feature has been created only as the for the validation if the weight is working for us and now we can focus on the model tree now we are using the three datum planes and one coordinate system if you would like to use more for example for your star part you would like to see always the axis for because you are using daily the symmetrical components 
So we are able to create axes between two planes, for example, yeah, and you can call it as the default axis. Yeah, it's up to you what you will call it. But what does it mean over here? You are able to see it. You can move it if you want and arrange every features in the model tree. You can add the geometry or only simple the datum planes, datum points and so on. Also, you can change the name. And if you would like to work with the view, because for example, in the view, you would like to apply some changes and then you would like to reuse it for the drawings. Now you are able to jump to view manager. And for example, if I will select the top orient, you can orient your model as, as you wish, and then you can create a new one. So for example, 3D will be the name of the orientation. And then what does it mean? Always will be same orientation. So if I will select the bat bottom or 3D or default orientation will be always as needed. Also in the menu, the system added the 3D orientation here. So every time and anybody will create new 3D model or assembly. And if you will apply this to the template, the orientation will be there and will be possible to reuse for your drawing, for example. Last but not least, it's a specification of the layer. In Creo 10, you are able to select this arrow and see or hide the layers here. Yeah? So you can see here that if I will specify the selection here, the system will show me the default layers. I don't like these default layers from the PTC because I would like to use the custom one. So I will delete all layers and I, I am able to specify new layers. Yes, yeah? so simple. We are able to create new layer. You can specify the name, for example, default DTM. And then you are able to select from the model tree or from the graphics area, the datum features. And if you would like to create something new, create new, for example, um, center of gravity. Yes, yeah? so you can create something like COG and specify that you would like to use this one as the center of gravity and the system will put over there the coordinate system. But as you know, central gravity is necessary to calculate from the shape, but it's only for the explanation that we are able to add, for example, the different name as you want, as you wish, and also you can apply the layers. If you will change the feature in the model tree later, for example, this one, I will specify as say zero. Yeah. What does it mean? The system will change the name and also you are able to specify it. And for example, if I will right now select the renaming, we are able to specify that it is really the layer CS0 and use it feature 5 C0. Yeah, it's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so over here right now, you are also able to add manually the layers. If you will ask me if it is possible to create automatic layer or if we are able to add some layers automatically by configuration options, answer is yes. If you would like to know more, please like request this under this tutorial. And then in future, I will create tutorials regarding the automatic layers and how to manage the layers for models or assemblies. In Creo, we are able to do many things it's only necessary to know that we are able to do it. Fine. So for this template, we have specified relation, materials, layers, parameters, view, and so on. So you are able to add much more if you wish, for example, 3D annotations. Yeah, if I will specify it in 3D annotation, you can add your custom annotation or specify the additional information, what you wish for your starting template. One thing what I forgot to mention at the beginning, if you will create a template and if you will not use the default template, but you would like to always have a copy of the drawing. So what does it mean that from the template you will create the automatically crop copy associated drawings and you will mark this one means that in future, if you will copy 3D model and 3D model include drawings with the same name, system automatically create copy of the drawing also. Yep, this is what I forgot at the beginning while I have selected the template. And while I have created this solid template at the beginning, we can say five minutes ago. Fine. 
Now you know how to create new 3D model as template, but you do not know how to specify the configuration options. OK, if you will go to the file options and in the configuration editor, over here in default, C program PTC, common file text config pro, you can see that over here are a few templates. Templates for sheet metal, templates for solid parts, and so on. Yeah? Template for design ASM. So what does it mean for assembly, model, sheet metal? So the configuration option is template design solid part, for example, for this example. And over here, I have to change the path for my 3D model. So what does it mean? This model has to be stored on hard drive. So I will really use the function save and use and select the folder, for example, this folder and name will be solid PRT. So we can confirm. OK, if you forgot the regenerate model, no problem. The system will show you the icon over here. So you are able to select this icon for the regeneration. If it is not here, you are able to select uh, save. Yeah, simple save and then the on the hard drive object will be saved as the second time. So if I will open the folder over here will be the two version. First one is not regenerated and second one is regenerated. Simple. You can really easy to delete the first version and the solid PRT.2 is the latest one and store it. We can say one second ago and this model with this part, we would like to apply for our configuration options and you have a two possibilities. You can apply these changes to config starting configuration options. So really to see program files where the PTC Creo is installed or to working directory as last time. So over here, I will create the, the new template so we can really easy to found the template. Yep. And you can see how many templates are there. And our example is, yeah, so you can see here that is the template solid part and we can really easy to browse and I will specify and select the solid part here, confirm OK, add change and then the system will apply this information directly to my config pro, which is located in my working directory. Yeah, so simple. I will confirm OK. The system will ask me if I would like to replace this information. Yes, of course. And we will apply this information to config file in your working directory. In future, if you will start Creo, the system will load information from the default Creo installation. But if the information are stored in your second working directory file, the latest loaded information are what will be applied. Yeah. So what does it mean now? You can do it same for the sheet metal or you can do it same for the molding parts or similarly for assembly components as the template. If we will really start from scratch, so we will create new 3D model. You can name it as the test, for example. And now I am able to use default template because my default template for solid model will be informed from the configuration option that solid model will be used. And if I will confirm OK, you can see the default access is here. Also, the default layer that I've specified or if we will check the tools relations relation is here and also our parameters are created and also, for example, the materials are available for selection and you can really easy change, for example, that it's from the PVC and then the system will calculate proper weight for the PVC or as you select. OK, so in this video tutorial, you have learned how it's possible to specify and create template for your Creo session. Thank you for your questions and stay tuned. Bye bye. Vladimir.